welcome back to my channel my name is Karen so my channel is all about fashion travel lifestyle and just run the blog so if you guys are into this type of video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit that notification bells so you guys will always get notified every time I post new video so happy watching so for today's video as we are going to do a comparison between these two beautiful bags in front of me so this is a battle between a get a bag and the constant 18 so both of these bags are both um, inspired bags I already did a review on these bags before if you guys want to watch those video I'm gonna put the link on the description box below if you guys are interested so here are the bags right here so we're just gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison um, this one is I got this um, in color sesame or sesame so this is what it looks like I got it in gold hardware and this one right here this one is on color like a mustard yellow mustard color and I also got this one in um, gold hardware so this is what it looks like side by side as you guys can see in here pretty much they have um, the same logo so they have this um, H logo right here in front so the only difference between these two is the H on the getter bag is more elongated and this is also kind of a remnant with remnants with the um, Japanese wooden sandals I'm also gonna post um, a picture of that so you guys would know what I'm talking about so this is what it looks like it does have two of this um, like a buckle so there's one in front and there's one at the back now moving on to the constants 18 the only buckle we have is um, this big letter H right here on the front it doesn't have anything at the back so there is a newer version of the constants and that one has a single gusset i'm going to show you a picture as well so the one that i have is the older version which is um it has two gussets right here so so this get it back right here if we're gonna look at it it kind of looks like a combination of the constants and the colorado bag which has already been discontinued for a long time now i'm gonna post a picture as well of that one so this is it kind of reminds me of that bag um what i really really love this bag it is very subtle it doesn't say or scream anything that says hermes on this one and the only thing that you're gonna know that this is from hermes is if you really really love the brand so much of course you'll know that this one is from hermes but as you guys gonna look at it um it doesn't say um hermes anywhere and it does it only have this elongated um uh each buckle right here but pretty much that's it on this one because constance 18 is getting popular right now um so whenever they see the age buckle pretty much they already know that um it is um it is from um hermes um plus um this one is already cons considered as a coda bag for this one um it is from from what i've read so far um this one is not a coda bag so this is really a, a good starter bag for all of you guys who wanted to start with your Hermes journey um like i said um this i'm gonna mention it again both of this bag that i'm showing to you right now are all inspired bag meaning there is no logo anywhere on this bag as you guys can see in here on the real one on the authentic one it does it says Hermes in here but this one doesn't say anything like that again the reason why i am um buying inspired bags is because i want to kind of um fill the bag first if it's really gonna suit me or not because um you guys knew that um this uh, type of bags are kind of um expensive of course if you're gonna splurge that um amount of money on a bag if you are going to invest that um that huge amount of money is you have to make sure that you really really love the bag so much um 
right now i am happy with my inspired ones because i didn't break the bank and this is one of the reason why i started with my channel because i want to share with you guys all of my finds that i can um share with you um in here on my channel so these are the difference between these two anyway we're gonna do side by side comparison as you guys can see in here this one um the width of this is a little bit um thicker compared to this one and then of course the strap as you guys can see this one is made of leather and this one is made of canvas so there is a huge difference because this one is thinner and this one is thicker now what i really love with this get it bag is this um it does have a feet so as you guys can see here at the bottom let me just do it on the side so if this little um metal right here that is considered as a feet when you um put this on top of the table so which is really nice because um the bottom of your bag won't get dirty on this one it doesn't have any feet so whenever you put this on on top of the table or anywhere is you have to make sure that it's clean so you won't get any dirt on the bottom of your bag so um what else can i say on this oh on the inside on the inside of this bag i already showed this before holy crap okay so this is the front <laughs> so this is what it looks Mommy, like I on sorry about that that's my daughter so this is what it looks like on the inside it's just one big compartment right here i do have a one big slip compartment at the back and then two at the front right here and then on this one um since like i said i do have the older version so in here this is what it looks like i have one slip compartment right here and two um pretty much unorganized um areas right here two main compartments and then both of them doesn't have any back pockets um both of them i really like it because um just like i mentioned earlier both of this bag are very subtle um of course for the concepts if you guys don't want to show the each buckle you're pretty much um gonna turn the the buckle the each buckle towards you so they're just gonna only see the side this side of the bag so um what do i prefer between these two bags right here um actually i prefer them both to be honest with you guys since these are inspired bags if you were able to get a hand of these two bags i highly for you guys to get them both but if not um it kind of depends on your preference on the way you dress and everything if you are more on the dressier part um you can actually wear this one um i really prefer this one compared to this one but if you are more like a casual type of person i would highly recommend this one actually both of them um, are unisex which means you can boys or girls can actually use this bag which is i really really love and um like I said, uh, which one do I prefer? Um, again, uh, and I'm repeating myself again, I prefer both bags because um, it kind of depends on where you're going to wear them. This one, you can actually use this one as a casual bag as well. But this one, it's kind of dual actually. You can use it on the dressier side. You can also use it in the casual side. But for this one, since it's more relaxed, um, of course, this one is more leaning towards the... Um, casual side and then uh, one more thing um this one as well since it has a thicker strap this one doesn't really digs in on your uh, skin um it's a little bit heavier it's because of the um this um kind of metal right here at the bottom which holds this um buckle on both both sides so this is um, a little bit weighty I would say I think around 635 grams if I'm not mistaken but if I am carrying this um, bag like this um, I feel like um, it is really heavy but when I'm carrying the bag like I'm putting on my shoulder strap doing it this crossbody 
I can't barely feel the weight on this bag even if um, I pack this one to the brim I, I don't feel it the the strap kind of compensates in terms of the weight of the bag on this one um, it doesn't dig on my um, skin as well uh, I mean yeah my skin I really love this because this one is I this one is on a smaller side um, it kind of glides on your um, on your body frame as well when you use it that's why most of the people kind of leans towards the c18 compared to the bigger size which is the c24 or the c20 c23 so that should be it for today guys i hope i was able to help you out which one to get um it's either the get a bag or the constants so i just want to ask you guys a question so please um Put your comments down below are you gonna be a team get a bag or are you gonna be a team consent so let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys again next time bye